everybody welcome back to um, my knitting channel I'm trying to come up with an intro for <laughs> myself but I don't have any because I still feel awkward about it but we're getting started today it is the 28th of October which is a Friday I'm so excited about it being Friday um, and yeah <laughs> it's been a while since I talked to a camera I'm so sorry I'm working today I'm obviously in the yarn store where I work at and I worked yesterday and I'm working today but not this weekend and um, yesterday was probably the best day at work I've ever had everything just flowed so nicely I was able to help all the people that came in I had so many orders to pack yesterday um, way more than usual and there's a reason for it and I'm gonna talk about it no ad no I, I need to talk about it I had a lot of orders yesterday I don't know I still have some left that I need to get to today I did record a reel yesterday where I packed the orders so I'll put it here um, how we do it here how I do it <laughs> yeah. um, and it's probably my favorite thing about this job it's packing orders it's just something it's my you know that I've had pen pals before. I love to sell my yarn and send it. My favorite thing is just wrapping it, writing little notes. <laughs> and I work with it, that's my work. Can you understand? Oh, and now to the news or, okay. So I told you that yesterday we got a lot of orders for a reason and I thought I'd show you what it is because it's so exciting. This yarn store has had its own yarn, six gone and owned. Egetsmenskulgan owns Swedish yarn beforehand. It's this one. It's named after... This one is Kajsa. And it's named after Anna and the Runes dog. Very cute. But it's not very good for sweater patterns. It's not a good sweater yarn. It's more like beanies, scarves and stuff. But if you guys have ever heard of Jeholtz Ullspineri. Um, Petine but uses their yarn Pelsuld. I know she's been in the factory mm -hmm. where we get all of our sheep, uh, wool. I don't know what it's called in English, but I'll insert a video here of all of that. The same farm, uh, Anna has collected the wool, gone down to Denmark, given the wool to the Danish people down there, yeah, and they've created a new yarn. And it's gorgeous and here it is here it is I can tell you from packing orders yesterday this is the most popular colorway Huifer. they're undyed so this is a very popular sheep anyway so I packed a lot of orders with that yarn yesterday and we have some on display but here we have all of these yarns it has no label on it so when I was packing orders yesterday I went into one of those bags you know grabbed all the yarn that was needed put on the labels it was the most fun experience it felt like I was a hand dyer it felt like I had my own yarn and I was just wrapping these and I talked to Anna a bit yesterday about stuff and I was like um hi Anna do you maybe need help with putting on labels on the yarn? And she was like, uh, yeah, if you have the time. So today, since it was so much fun, I'm going to try to make time. I still have some orders left to do. Probably going to get more orders orders today. So I brought a big, big ass scissor to cut new yarn labels straight. Because um, I cannot cut a straight line for the life of me. Uh, we're gonna try to do that and just I'm gonna prepare everything today so that I can just grab that box sit down and put on your labels and listen to 1975 yeah I don't know how many people will come to the store today I have filmed a little bit here before but I really want to try to get some for you guys today because I have no podcast I have no need to film a podcast we need to do a little bit of a talk together, but yeah, I'm just gonna try to film today and this weekend and really make it, have you forgotten about me? 
I'm still here. I'm still here and I want to give you all some knitting content even if it's not a podcast. Printing out orders. If the printer wants to work. This person wants some patterns, so let's pack that. So, I'm working today because Anna, the owner, and my co-worker Lotta are in Stockholm. Because in Stockholm there's something called Elfjömesa, like Rhinebeck, I don't know, those yarn festival types of things. And um, they're there selling our new yarn, other yarns, um, and there's a bunch of other yarn stores and people there as well. It's supposedly really big, never heard of it. So that's why I'm working today. I'm praying that Anna and Lotta are having a good time. I'm having a good time here. I'm gonna put on 1975 for the day and bless everyone's ears that comes in here, including my own. <laughs> um, so probably won't do a lot of talking because that means that I have to turn off the music to not get copyrighted. I don't know if it's worth it, <laughs> honestly. But so enjoy the silent clips of me packing and doing other stuff. Let's open this door. I've been packing orders all morning. There's people coming and going all the time, so let's go. And two, three, four, five, six. Six of these to Brit Marie. Brit Marie? Brit Marie. I'm gonna have to pack them three and three. Stickers. Why was I caressing it so much? So There was a lot of people today, just as yesterday, but I don't think anyone else is coming in here at this point. We closed at about 10 minutes, something, so there's not a lot of people here 
anymore so I'm gonna turn off the lights as soon as the clock turns four and I'm gonna go to the postal office Anna usually with her husband takes care of the mail but in moments like this when they're in Stockholm um, I'll do it or someone else is gonna do it the one working um, because I'm going to Kungsbacka where the postal office is anyway because I'm gonna pick up a package I bought some mohair on sale uh, maybe we can talk about that later I don't know I did two orders of mohair so I don't know what's gonna arrive today I don't remember but whatever mohair it is that's the project we're gonna start today tonight I'm gonna drive to the postal office leave off all of those packages and luckily we have an elevator because I'm not going down the, these stairs holy shit with that um, but yeah had a good day my fingers hurt a bit from uh, all the labeling of the yarn but that was today I usually work Thursday Friday Saturday Monday what <laughs> Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so it feels weird only working two days but yeah and Alphonse this at home we'll talk more in the car I feel a bit awkward here um, yeah let's close the store then I guess I finished my Moby sweater yesterday, last night, and I was filming some of it for you when I finished this second sleeve up and I blocked it before I went to bed and it's probably gonna have to dry for a couple of days, but I'm very excited. I don't know how the fit will be, honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just proud that I made it. So now I have so many whips, but it's like, I'm not gonna do a pocket probably. I don't know when I'll do a pocket. I don't know, I don't wanna do it. I'll explain later, but to explain what whips I have, I have uh, my Tarasso sweater, I'm gonna put that on hold for spring, cumulus top, cumulus tee, gonna put that on hold until summer, um, so active whips is an also hat for myself, um, an also hat and then it's a sweater for my cousin's baby, Signa. So I think I only have two active whips and I only have one sleeve left from for seeing this sweater so i need to start something else and i'll tell you what i have planned depending on what yarn i pick up today here's my depressing lunch you want a bite i didn't eat it i just feel so awkward eating in there like want to buy yarn for me oh, oh. let's go let's go girls Jämföra det med julmarknaden och granarna utan granar. Och de är många och de är härliga och de är fina.
So yesterday I opened the package of the mohair that I got and it was this one. It drops kid silk in the color almond but also color 42. This is the yarn that I originally bought on sale. It's drops lima in the color beige. And I wanted this one because on the pictures on the website this looked like the perfect warm beige for an Ingrid sweater because I really wanted to make an Ingrid sweater. Um, I already have a grey one but I'm not much of a grey person, more on that later. Um, but then I received it and I just felt like this is not the colour I want my Ingrid sweater to be, my future Ingrid sweater. I want it to be warmer in tone. I feel like I look a bit washed away. Washed? What? I, I don't know, you get my point. Not really my colour. So I took a shot and bought I didn't take a shot but I, I took a shot spontaneously and bought this to match because I thought this might warm it up when I went on to Ravelry to look up project pictures with this yarn I found a person who used a similar drops and pile with this um, and it looked beautiful so I bought it and it came yesterday and I made a swatch I don't know what we think about this. It definitely looks better in daylight than it did last night. Okay, first of all, here's the difference of the skein and this. It definitely warmed it up. Well, yeah, that's kind of a huge difference. But I don't know. I don't really like how you can see the silk strands of the mohair. I'm just, it's fine, but I'm not obsessed with it. Last night, when I made the swatch, I looked at this mohair and I kind of fell in love with this color. It's very beautiful. It's like camel, caramel -y, very nice. I don't know if I want an Ingrid sweater in it, but I did have a glass of wine yesterday. Um, so I didn't think clearly and I ordered 12 other skeins of Drops Lima on a website that still had it on sale in this color. So when that gets home, I'm going to make a swatch, compare them, and maybe see if I want an Ingrid sweater with this. Um, use this for another sweater in the future, I don't know. It's a good basic yarn and I have a sweater's quantity, so I'm not very stressed about it. Yeah, I don't know, like this section, it irks me that you can see the silk strands quite clearly. Not really my vibe. So yeah, that's the plan with that. And then this morning, I received some yarn um, that I also bought on sale like one day after. And it's, I, I've used this before. It's Drops Kid Silk in light beige in the color, in the color light beige number 20. And I bought eight of these, I think, a hundred, no, I bought 225 grams. Because I'm gonna make the second size of my favorite things knitwear sweater number 14, I believe. So I bought this yarn to match with it. It's obviously not really a match, but I made a swatch this morning, and I think it's really pretty. Um, it's definitely more gray, but it's actually like a gray that I I like. The length isn't that long. It's 54 centimeters or something and this one is about the same length and I'm gonna make it longer because for years my favorite outfit I don't know what I'm doing uh, with clothes but my favorite outfit is wearing a long um, knitted sweater that's like oversized and has a slit on the side I had multiple different ones uh, before and then a black tight skirt tights and high knee knee-high boots mm, it's a look and i remember going to a clothing store with a friend and i think it was h&m and they had this perfect sweater like that in gray but it wasn't i was way bigger back then and it wasn't available in my size so she got one i had to watch her wear it for years so now i'm gonna make myself one instead and I'm very excited about it. It's on six millimeter needles so it's probably gonna go by super quickly and I started the short row section just now so I thought I would just sit here and knit while we talk for a sec. So 
today I'm just gonna cook some nice dinner. I bought super nice fish yesterday. So I'm gonna make some fish and I'm gonna take a long walk. I might film something pretty for you, but it's fall. So it's very ugly outside. <laughs> There's no more like orange leaves anymore. It's all just ugly. But yeah, I'd just like to talk to you about the podcast thing. So in August, the end of August, I filmed a podcast just like two days before my friend was gonna stay here for a week and it was awful. It wasn't that good. I just felt so um, stressed that I had to post one and I just, I still edited it, edited it, it. <coughs> um, but my, it wouldn't save on my computer and so I just gave up. And then my friend was here so I couldn't film. And then while my friend was here, my grandma got into the hospital. Um, and my mom and my aunt was there for a couple of days and she passed away after like four, four days I believe or something. It was very, very traumatic for them. Um, but I was at home with my friend. And look, I'm the one who always wants to be alone and deal with things alone, whatever. Mm. Um, but I'm very glad that I had my friend here. It made it easier for me um, to just like, this was the first time anyone like close in my life had passed away. And she left like two days after. And we started dealing with all of the things like fixing the apartment for my grandpa because my grandpa went into the hospital at the same time as my grandma but for a double-sided lung inflammation I don't know if it's called lung inflammation in English but whatever um, so my grandma passed away at like the 28th of August and so we started cleaning out the apartment getting ready for my grandpa to come home because he was getting better and at the same time planning for the copy dolls trip because they were gonna be here on the 10th of September and then just eight days after my grandma passed away my grandpa passed away so he passed away on the 8th or something like on the Tuesday and copy dolls landed on the Friday so it was very like and I'm just the timing of it all it's just all so strange and um, once again it happened that my grandpa passed away but I had copy dolls here uh, to give some light into my life and it was very 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 nice but then after they left I had kind of just been ignoring all the things that have had happened right because I was with my friend here and then with them and stuff so when, after they got home I didn't want to film a podcast because also with just cleaning out the apartment now we had to clean everything out, not prepare it for my grandpa to come home, you know? And then selling it, and then my grandma's funeral turned into both of my grandparents' funeral. So there were two caskets. It was also my first funeral. Very strange. Uh, I was knitting through this ceremony. I find social things like that super uncomfortable. I don't know how to act and with people crying and stuff I just I asked can I knit so I cast it on a pair of penny gloves and I was knitting through it all and it helped a lot um, and yeah so that's what's been going on so it was the end of August beginning of September and now so it's been about a month or something um, give, and, give or take and now things are starting to calm down like their apartment has been sold um we our house is chaos we cleaned every single piece of the house before copy dolls got here and filmed <laughs> around the house but now it's filled with stuff right from their apartment things we want to keep we've i've been me and my mom have been driving to the thrift store almost every day with uh, a lot of stuff so yeah it's just it's been a lot with podcasts i don't like doing it um i i used to watch 
like watching them as well. I was obsessed with podcasts. I don't watch knitting things anymore. There's a plane. And I don't think it has to do with my life being very chaotic. These pa this past month, um, I started not. I stopped watching a lot of knitting content before because I found myself just comparing myself to other knitting YouTubers. And even if I didn't want to do it in the same way as they did, I just kept wondering, is this how I should do it? Is this... I don't know. So I've completely... Like, copy dolls are the only ones I've been watching this past month. Their videos. Because um, they're my friends and I don't feel like... I don't compare myself to them. My favorite thing about this channel is editing. It's the best thing ever. When I was young, I would just edit random clips all the time. Even if I'm not very good at it, it's very fun. And podcasts, that type of editing is just removing, listening to yourself talk for an hour, deleting a bunch of rambling and stuff. And it's not fun editing, it's the opposite. And after like, I and I rewatch it so many time, times, and I shorten them down a lot. So at the end of, <laughs> after a podcast, before I post it, I've watched that podcast episode four or five times and I feel ashamed over it, just being honest. So when Copydoss was here, I told them about me not wanting to do podcasts anymore. I like the idea of updating. I don't want to do vlogs like this all the time either. I don't know what I want to do. I want to like make up my own kind of podcast, like my own kind of podcast, but like change. Cause this I filmed yesterday and when I started to get tired, I stopped filming and now I start talking again. I cannot talk for long sections of times, time like that without losing energy. I cannot keep my focus so I start rambling and then it's just it's not my thing anymore and I'm stop trying to make fetch happen it's not gonna happen is how I feel um so I'm still thinking about how I want to make a podcast and with everything that's been going on I haven't been able to be like oh how should I do my podcast oh should I try not been in the mood for that um so yeah and also I just don't like, as soon as I finish a project, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and the way it becomes repetitive in podcasts, if you've showed a whip beforehand, I don't know, I don't like it. But I don't want to feel myself talking about my sweater number 15 I finished two weeks ago. Because I'm done with it. It's out of my head. <laughs> I don't know how to do this channel, so it might be like small videos like this sometimes. And I understand if you don't want to watch that because a lot of, of people love podcasts and the one hour thing but I think my future podcast is going to be like me, me talking about one sweater one day filming me talking about another finished sweater another day and just like editing and making stuff pretty I don't know we'll see um, so yeah now you kind of know what's going on starting a sweater by my favorite things network don't know which one i'm gonna say bye for now and we'll see how we um meet again i guess thank you Th this heart is quite thank you for watching